Okay, class. You there has been some issues with constructing a graph in terms of the import option. One way of getting away from having to deal with any of this import option is to enter the data in yourselves. However, entering in that much data can provide a little bit of an issue. So what I would suggest is that you import the data. Now I'm going to do an example here to where you should have two series on the graph. Some of you have worked in this in class, some of you have not. Uh, this is a tutorial to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and plot some air and soil temperature hourly data on the graph. Do that, I'll go to the website and I'll pick, oh, I'll pick Stevenson. And let's go with hourly data. And here goes hourly data for the 6th of April. Here it is for the 7th. I want to go ahead and pick the 7th, <coughs> the 7th of April. To do that, I'm just going to select all the data on the graph, or in the table. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm just going to go into Notepad and paste this into Notepad. And I'm going to save that as a text file. I'm going to go ahead and just save that. Mm, Stevenson, well I'm just going to call it 4. I'm going to call it Stevenson. April 7th. And I'm going to save that. Encoding and is Anzi. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to go into Excel. And I'm going to go to Data from Text. I'm going to pick Stevenson April 7th. And I'm going to import that. And now what I have is I have 437 OEM United States. I'm going to try that out. And we have fixed width. Looks like it's divided up nicely. Next, finish. I imported it right into here. So now the only issue that we have are, is this. With this 1 o'clock AM and then this thing going on right here that is not good. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that 1 o'clock a.m. junk. Because we really don't need it. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to delete this entirely. Delete that. I'm going to convert the format to number to the bottom. I'm going to go fill series. And now what we want is we want both we want both this column right here. I'm going to go ahead and give that one decimal or two decimal places. Well actually I'm going to give it one. I'm going to go back over here and give this one one. You don't really don't need that many. And I'm going to make a graph. So I'm going to select this right here. And now I'm going to hold down the control button. I'm going to select this, which is our air temperatures. And then I'm going to select this, which is our soil temperatures. I have those three selected. Now I'm going to go to Insert, Line, and 2D. And what I get is I get a graph with a bunch of different series on it. Now the issue is here is that I don't need either series 1 or series 2. I'm not even sure why it gave me two different series with that. So I'm going to go to select data. I'm going to remove this series. And I'm going to remove this series. And then I'm going to hit OK. This is constructed. Now let's go ahead and add a few items to that graph. So in chart tools you can go to uh, layout and in layout, we can go ahead and we can go into axis titles. And we can put in a primary horizontal axis title, title below axis. And let's just call this time. I'm 
And we can go ahead over here. If we click on that chart again. And we go to access titles and we can go to and we can type in uh, let's see temperature Fahrenheit. And now what we can do with this is we can go to select data and let's go ahead and edit that and call that series three is our air temp. And then let's go to series four, edit that, and that is going to be our soil temp. Now we can cross out of that, and we can go into layout again. And let's go put in a chart title above chart. And let's call this soil and air temperature Stevenson Michigan 4-7-2011 and then that looks good to me maybe move this a little and that looks good and then you can just copy and paste that right in.